Hi everyone, it's Christine from Altitude Advisory joined by Tony Katz, uh, guru of all things financial advisory. We wanted to come together today and give you a bit of an update on the market, specifically for those people with direct investments in their super fund or outside. So Tony, what have you got for us? Good question, Kristen. Through COVID and, and particularly going into this next US election, people are nervous, um, rightly so. People, are, I think COVID's been described as how do you fight a ghost? Uh, was like fighting a ghost and who knows where it's gonna be and what it's gonna do next. But um, it's we live in very uncertain times yeah. and therefore um, people in, in levels, and when you have a lot of uncertainty, people tend to get a bit paralyzed mm -hmm. and people do nothing. And I think that that can be um, a bit of a problem because there are some still some good investment opportunities out there at the moment. Right. Um, Specifically, anything? Well, I think that particularly, I think we need to look through a bit of a longer term view. And if you adopt a two to three year view at the moment and you interest rates are going to be very, very low as, as we've discussed before and for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. And for poor old retirees at the moment with term deposit rates at 0.6 of a percent or 0.8 of a percent, they can't live off that. And therefore, their, their only two options is to move into the share market or move into the property market or, or to try and get a return or get some income. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and both of those sectors at the moment, um, it's hard for them to take that plunge and start investing in either of those areas. So, Especially with some dividends are being cut back to yes, in some industry areas. Yeah, with the banks and, and various things. So I, th I think that um, my, my words of advice for people that are sitting on the sidelines a little bit and are looking at it is to invest slowly, mm -hmm. uh, to invest bit by bit. Don't just think, oh, I've got to plonk this whole bit of money in at once. Um, stick to, at the moment, we're probably saying don't chase or don't have this thing which we call FOMO, fear of missing out with the, Speculative. the spec, buy now, pay later stocks or all this tech stuff. It feels a little bit like 1999 for me at the moment with that, with the old tech boom. but. Stick to, stick to good quality, stick to good companies, stick to what we call things that have defensive earnings that you know are gonna be here with, with or without COVID. We're still buying bread, we're still buying yeah. milk, you know, we're still have paying for electricity. Um, and then, then over to, at least then you're getting a return. And so, uh, and if, if you buy in and it gets cheaper and you get, don't kick yourself, buy more. You know, like have, leave some firepower there to keep, keep investing, so. Yeah, sure, and always get advice. Always get advice and uh, make sure you know that you listen to um, people that understand your situation. Like, don't go to the pub and get advice from every Tom, Dick, or Harry because they don't know your situation. Neither does your next door neighbour. Make sure you get tailored personal advice. Great, great wrap up. Thank, Thank you. you.